Hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, part 3 of my Clockwork Empires Revision 35 playthrough. My name is Alfred. I'm just continuing on from where we left off uh, the previous episode. Which is to say the colony had been uh, established. Uh, we're starting to work on luxuries like beer. We've got food and shelter for everyone. Um, yeah. And we'll just continue on from here. Now, I imagine uh, the actual overseer uh, would be a little bit concerned about these constant fishman attacks we've been experiencing. Uh, I mean, part of it is just the nature of the jungle biome. There are little clumps of fishman scattered everywhere. Uh, it's not like we found their home base or a beach or a body of water or anything. But, in the interest of shoring up our security, I think I'm going to build some fortifications. Uh, the military can do that in the form of building gabions. Um, these things. And placing mines, actually. Although, we uh, we actually do have three landmines in stock. Let's get these landmines placed. Maybe, uh, they really seem to love blowing up my crops. So, I don't know if uh, this is the best strategy, but I'm going to place landmines in my farming fields maybe in these other choke points. And then uh, let's get some gabions built. Now I'm very short on timber, so I'm actually going to need more logs before I build too many more. Five bandits incoming. Let's give them a fight. How is my military strength? I've got six. Okay, that seems fine. Actually, if we can find the direction they're coming from, we can also locate the bandit camp and hopefully uh, raid them for supplies. Mm, no sign of bandits yet. Oh, here we go. No, that's a fish man. Fair enough. Easily dispatched. I believe these are the bandits. Oh, any hit of mine. I shall call this the Battle of the Cornfield. Oh, another mine exploded. You know, I built those mines to, uh, to catch fishmen, but catching bandits is even better. That's, that's actually pretty gory. Alright, now the bandits came from, at our current orientation, the northeast corner. So maybe if I send guys scouting up there, I can find their camp. I think we've ended off that, uh, Ended off that invasion handily. Uh, so like I was mentioning earlier, we're pretty short on wood. I think the next farm I'm going to set up will be bamboo. And after I have, um, maybe after the bamboo plot, I'll consider starting up on the manufacturing facilities. We've got a wave of immigration coming in, so what's going on here? Uh, let's see, I've, again, I've got a numerous small squads. I would like my squads to be bigger, so I'm going to take three of anyone. I've got uh, overseer, metal worker, farmer. So two workers and an overseer. Now what I can do to concentrate more workers into fewer work crews is to empty out one of these crews and um, put the workers in another crew or in other crews, uh, which is actually what I think I'll do. The reason I do that, each work crew occupies, uh, it will, 
Each worker can be assigned to a workshop, then only that worker will work in there. Um, no other workers will go there. So the problem is, they'll grab a job, but there may not be sufficient people to do it efficiently. I want this giant crater in my in the middle of town. Let's dig these up. Let's see if we can't find that uh, bandit encampment. All that sweet, sweet loot. Let's uh, rally you guys up here for now. So I'm going to set up a farm for purposes of growing bamboo. A little trouble dragging this box, box out. Might have something to do with the terrain. Um, try repositioning it a little bit. Here we go. Alright, bamboo. Here. In the meantime, forge up some fungus. Someone's encountered a fish man. Oh. There should be an entire squad here, I guess. Ah, oh, they're on their way. Uh, I'm going to pause here for a second, although that's a really interesting isthmus, or peninsula. So, uh, as earlier in this playthrough, when we when I clicked on the building materials option for calling in a favor, I had the prestige deducted, but I didn't get a supply drop. Uh, apparently that's a bug. Uh, devs have acknowledged it as a bug, and it's not working. So, um, but it's fixed for next revision. So I'm not going to call building materials this time. Um, in fact, I'm going to take the extra criminals option. And I've got a fish person attack incoming. Three raiders. First, let's make sure all the new arrivals are properly assigned. Good enough. Huh. It's not quite what I wanted. Oh, there's gold in the swamp. I don't really want this squad to be chasing fishmen into a swamp, though. And there's no sign of the bandit camp. So I'll leave them to do their thing. How are we doing for jobs? Uh, I've got a lot of jobs queued up. Supply drop. What do I need? I think I need food. Alright. Uh, because I had four prestige, I think, I got 15 food items, which is plenty. Oh my goodness. It's just this endless chase into the swamp. Uh oh, somebody's starving. Um, and I've lost a... S oh dear. Okay, lots of stuff going on. Um, the Fishman Evasion, well, they're destroying my stuff. Destroying some of my crops. They're working on the Gabions. Uh, these are the two... Soldiers. Let me double check here. Okay, so that military squad of three I sent up to the northeast. Uh, the NCO got killed, and one of the other militia men, leaving only Herbert uh, Hubert here. So I'm going to assign him to my stationary military squad. There we go. So. My foray up northeast was, well, I explored a lot of land, but it was a bit of a disaster. Oh, fishmen are scattering my workers.
I have to say, for, you know, for fine soldiers of the Empire, they're awfully fond of using the fishmen's, uh, well, the, the fish guns. We've taken to nicknaming them fishtals. Alright, uh, the spinning jenny is finally complete. I'm gonna make, let's say, five cloth bolts. So I build some more beds. Yep, here we have someone retrieving the bodies of his fallen comrades for proper burial back at the graveyard. Looks like there's another deadly pursuit off to the northwest. What are you doing? You're idle. If you're not doing anything, you may as well pick up a crate of coconuts on your way back to town. I think what I really need to do is shore up my military strength. I've only got four soldiers now, and Bandit raids and fishman attacks don't seem to come in numbers smaller than three. Uh, but I don't really want to take anyone from an existing... Well... I'll take you from this squad. And assign you here. Now colonists who are not professional soldiers, that is to say colonists who do not have the military training trait um, become militia, these brown coats, as opposed to uh, professional soldiers who have these red coats. They're not as good as professional soldiers. They're not as brave, I think. Um, but they're better than nothing, right? They'll still pick up a gun and shoot and things. Um, but it does tend to make them, it makes them a little bit unhappy. So we'll take a look at uh, this guy's memories. Uh, here, his, his most recent memory is about being unhappy. Oh, wait a second. No, he's he's unhappy because he was one of the criminals that came in with a favor from the Empire, and he's unhappy about that. Um, oftentimes, conscripts, that is the militia that are forcibly recruited uh, are unhappy that they're forced to be a soldier even though they don't have military training and the net effect of that is that there's more they have more unhappy memories and then they're um, <clears throat> so their internal values right the happier someone is the more likely they are to uh, resist sort of the call of the uh, of eldritch influences that sort of thing the less satisfied they are, the more unhappy they are, and the more susceptible they are to that sort of thing. And there are also other values, aside from happiness and sadness, like madness. If they've seen crazy, crazy things that break their brains, right, they might become cultists. Now, this sort of thing is not... Um, it's sort of secondary to, the, I think, the general thrust of the play experience, right? Generally speaking, you should be trying to run a happy and safe colony with lots of food and places for people to sleep and stuff like that. You shouldn't be worrying about like numeric optimization. I guess unless you really want to. I mean, there's something to be said for micromanaging. Anyway, we've got enough cloth to build some more beds. Let's build a couple more in here. Huh. build this right against the wall. There's no reason I have to cram all my beds in here, but it's a little bit inconvenient trying to fit them into nooks and crannies around. What's going on here? Ah, there's a fish man chopping my bamboo.
doesn't seem to be any beer production going on. Well, it's because we're not getting a lot of corn, for whatever reason. Oh, I see you've got some mad farmers planting Malfeasant Club Oak. So Malfeasant Club Oak is a crop that is spontaneously planted by people working the farms who are who have cultish tendencies. And they're bad for a couple of reasons, right? First of all, they occupy a slot which would be growing a normal crop which you can eat or whatever. Um, but also, uh, a non-cult farmer who will he'll dig it up if he finds one. But digging it up will upset him. Which means um, he will become more susceptible to cult influences. Hmm. On top of the gross physical threats to the colony, I think I'm... I think there's a subtly growing cult influence. I may have to start instituting frontier justice. Ah, I see someone has retrieved the last body. Hopefully he makes it all, all the way back to... Oh, somebody just died. What's going on here? Okay, that must be a bug. Uh -huh. The late Delbert Thatch, starved to death, halfway through a wall, in bed. I assume that was just some kind of pathfinding error. It was not representative of the food uh, production capacity of my colony. If he could just get out of bed, or he was, he was wedged in that crack between his bed and the wall, like, like my socks. Actually, I think I need more stockpile space as well. Well, here's as good a place as any. Alright, so we've got... Got the bamboo production up and running. Um, we've got a fair amount of logs, I think. I'll try and plug up some more of these holes in my perimeter. Maybe the next thing I can build will be... Well, let's see, what do I need? I've got food, I've got shelter, I've got booze facilities. Um, to build a really successful, lasting colony, I'm going to be able to... I'm going to need to be able to make my own metal goods. Uh, let's, things like guns and gunpowder. I mean, I'd like to build a laboratory, but I don't think we're not sufficiently uh, self-sufficient. Uh, not enough so that we can worry about sort of intellectual advancement quite yet. So I think I'm going to build a ceramics workshop, which will ma let me make brick. And I'm going to get started on the... I'm going to get rid of this log first, because I want to build it here. Uh, yeah, so I can get started on the chain of um, chain of buildings that will eventually allow me to smelt and refine and work metal. Alright, so, actually before I pick the ceramics kiln, this thing needs... So I'm not going to build the industrial ceramics kiln because it requires three brick and I only have two. And if I... This is the building that should make me brick. So if I run out of brick trying to make it, I am screwed. So instead, I'm going to build a stone ceramics kiln. With a door. There we go. There we go. Everything a potter could want. Um, but I do need more rock.
Well, all right. Um, so I think maybe I can cut this one off here. Um, just more colony stuff. I'm still working on the standard um, standard sort of set of buildings. We're seeing increased attacks from bandits and fishmen. We had a disastrous foray uh, trying to locate the trying to locate the bandits, and I lost my entire military expedition. One thing I will say, these constant fishmen attacks are f providing us food. And kind of a lot of food, actually. In the form of fishmen steaks when I butcher their corpses. Which uh, takes a little bit of pressure off of my food production. I mean, it comes at the added cost of like losing colonists to combat. Uh, but I can always get more colonists, right? <laughs> the, the Empire has no shortage of prisoners to send me. Right, so let's uh, let's tie this one off here, and we'll pick it up next episode. Hopefully, next episode we'll get. Uh, so I've got the bamboo going. The next episode, um, hopefully, we can finish off the metal working buildings and build a mine. And at that point, I think we'll be in a good position to worry about exploration and research. Until then, uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Clockwork Empires Revision 35, released uh, approximately a week ago now. My name is Alfred. Great, have a good one.